and welcome to our Cape York Adventure. This time we're doing the Starkey Wakuka track. Now this track was um, not on our original plans and we found out about it at the Lion's Den when Garth was chatting to someone that night over a few beers, um, a four-wheel driver actually. He said it'd be about an eight-hour track in a four-wheel drive but a couple of bikes should get, the, get it done in three hours or so. So we left the Lion's Den and we kicked off for the Starkey track we didn't really have a, a good plan for this ride. We just sort of were winging it. And we didn't really have a um, enough fuel, really, for the, the distance we had to ride, considering how strained the bikes were going to be in the sand. And eventually we did, uh, we did run out of petrol, and then we also ran out of water. And it was yeah, quite the adventure. So I hope you enjoy the film. <coughs> Beautiful! still been having some fun oh my god whoa Adventure is a brewing. Yep. Gotta watch these vines, some of them are like barbed wire. I'm ready for that. <laughs> I definitely picked the wrong track. You want your mirror? Yeah, thanks, mate. Fix it tonight. Zip my backpack. Ah, fuck. Oh, this is <coughs> my idea of a holiday. <coughs> a 
man, I'd love to be a ranger or something, just get to ride around on bikes through the bush all day. jungle theme going. Nice. Uh, this is this is what we're talking about. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's see that I get him get him some help. Oh man. Oh, Christ almighty. Okay. I'm going to have to... Wait up, Gary! <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Back, is it? <laughs> Got gnarly pretty quick, didn't it? I've seen this in YouTube videos. Your stand's down. Your stand's down. Okay, this is going to be an interesting crossing. Back there, there was a sign saying crocodile spotted in this area. Which side? Woohoo! Wonder how big he is. Winds blowing all the dust off the road. This is oh, adventure country. <laughs> This was an adventurous track. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, what a hole. <laughs> We're going to be in some uh, strife if we get stuck in this in the dark. It's like four o'clock, so you've got two hours max. And it's slow, slow going. Wee! Ah. 
scary oh my goodness sand is scary when you just hit it like that yeah I don't want to do that in the dark I need some more of it You don't want to hit this at night. Oh, fuck. Oh, fully. Fucking scary shit. Oh, how's poor Gary doing? His bike's a lot heavier. He's uh, not fond of sand either. What happened? You went bush. Straight across. Oh shit. I thought I had it, but then I stuck my foot in another bloody. Yeah. You know, <coughs> Everything's all right. There it is. God, was I recording that? Oh, <laughs> oh that's way <right>. whoosh! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Sand though? Yeah, it can be. Oh, hard. I heard there was sand. Oh. Wow. Wow. Get in the mother gear. Holy mackerel. Oh, fuck. Oh, my training. <laughs> I don't think got me prepared for this. Am I on the track still? Feels like I'm in a riverbed.
gee whiz this is unbelievable his line oh, fucking hell don't overtake me in this man I'm fucking all over the shop best track in Australia it have to be Oh man, it's just unbelievable. <clears throat> what in the world? <clears throat> oh, far out. Send it. Oh fuck! Oh. Fuck, you are right. Yeah, just... oh. Wait, let's count it. Let me get purchase first. One, two, three. Is it in gear? Yep. Yeah. Oh fuck! He's down! Oi! Good guys! Fuck! You're right! Lift the back a little bit first. Do what? Then lift the back a bit first. Get the back, guys. Lift the back a little bit. You alright? Okay, ready, steady. Got it! Just let him get it. Yep. Alright. How's that foot? Ready, hang on, hang on. One, two, three. Oh, fucking hell. So, Gary, he's ahead of us, isn't he? No, I've seen him ahead of me a few times. Hey mate, how are ya? You not injured? We had a bit of drama back there. Oh fucking oh. Fucking sun's going down. Okay. You caught your breath? So we'll do it on uh so three, two, one, yeah? Three, two, one! Wow, what's going on here? Go in and find out, eh? Whew. River crossing. Lovely. No crocs. Oh man, I hope I can get up this bloody ridge. Fucking hell. How? There's no way to do that. So yeah, basically the gist of what's happening is it's um, God, it's like 4:30. Uh, could even be later now. Um, oh, we've had an off. You okay? Yep. 
Yeah, so the um, four wheel drive's been travelling since 11.30. Get to where we met them so we have uh, gone by them <laughs> five hours to get to where they left from oh shit more of this <laughs> Catch you out in the dark. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, could not put into words how much, how exciting a day like this is. Like the, the fun factor is through the roof, but the, the excitement factor. Especially now we got the sun going down. We don't know where we're going, or you know, where we're going to be staying. We got fuel that's only just going to get us to where we need to be if we manage it well. Terrain is um, yeah, it's insane. It just keeps changing. What's up? A little red button's gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, what's the do? The starter button? Yeah, that's it. No. Uh, we'll have to, um, have to jump it. Can you? Oh, what's oh it's this, the kill one, is it? Yeah, the kill's gone. Oh, and it's killed. It's in kill mode. I don't know. Well, I, can, I can't see it. That's the can you start the bike? No, nothing. <laughs> done. Uh, the the little red button on the on the starter's gone. Kill. Oh, and off. <laughs> oh, did I turn it off? Uh, kick, got your stand kicked up. Yep. Neutral, clutch in. Clutch. Yep. 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 Oh fuck. Um. Where the? <sighs> oh. Is there must? It might. Maybe it pulls out. And there's a contact or something. Ah. <clears throat> I oh, know. Oh yeah, so you can see uh, how hard these trips are on the bikes. Wayne had an electrical problem, but we got it sorted. So there. Right. The, the so if there's a campsite up ahead, we'll get in there. Like the chicken track. <laughs> Holy crap! Am I 
I doing? I'm in the ghetto. with firewood tonight. the lead you got the spotties oh, we might have a bit of gnarliness coming up Shit. Oh. Gary's got it. I'm really hoping we come across this campsite soon. It's uh, gonna get dangerous riding in this lower light. It's, like it's not too bad now, but it's just gonna get worse. Or ultimately the track could just become a bit more of a normal track. <laughs> and then we could just tog along and uh, the lights, but at the moment she's a bit too gnarly for, ooh, for riding at night, in my opinion.
Good morning. We've uh, just woken up. It's uh, it's surprising that it's seven o'clock. It's um, oh, nice day, but the sun's only just come up. So strange. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're stuck on this track. We have fuel concerns. We've still got hundreds of kilometres to go. I'm out of water, so I need to find a water supply real quick. Um, yeah, I had two litres with me yesterday, more than two litres. I, I, yeah, one and a, uh, two and a half litres, but <clears throat> it was really hard going and just, I think I just drank too much. <clears throat> so, we have passed a few streams, I didn't think to, didn't think to fill up, so I'll, I'll pass the stream soon. Mike's doing well, she's, uh. Not leaking oil anymore. I'll check the oil level soon. So you'll notice there's only three of us. So we lost two last night. They shot ahead down the path. And we were beeping our horns and flashing our lights and couldn't get their attention. And we found a bit of a little bit of a spot on the side. <clears throat> and yeah, we thought, well, we gotta stop. Because yeah, it was just crazy riding in the night. It was so dark and the sand was so deep. How are you going, Garth? Are you gonna... A few yeah, words for your a, followers. Just to pack up. It's a good night's sleep in the middle of nowhere. Like, and I dreamt about looking for those other guys <laughs> last night all night. Did you have a dream? Yeah, I dream every night. There goes Chris, he's going for his morning uh, movement. Alright, so we're just leaving uh, our campsite for the night. <laughs> Jesus, I'm glad we stopped because just look at the oh, someone's gone down here. Oh, fuck. So we got uh, Gary and Wayne up here ahead. Hopefully, they've set up a campsite, catch up with them. Uh, there is a uh, an intersection up here, so we just hope they went the right way. Good thing is I'm seeing their tire tracks down here. The tractionators, pretty obvious. Doing this at last night was just fucking insane. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it just got too bad. Where the boys go? Do they go up or through? Yeah, someone's laid that down for a reason. Um where to go? The boys went up here. Send it! There we go. Whoa! Look at this sand! <laughs> what a sandy mess. Oh, great start to the morning.
I mentioned this earlier, might be the effects of dehydration, but I'm officially out of water now. Um, the other fellas have about a litre each. Chris gave me a slug of his this morning. And uh, yeah, high priority for me is to find a fresh creek this morning. Ah, she's empty. Bugger. Hey! <laughs> oh, how are we? We only camped probably five k's apart. <laughs> Yeah, that's disappointing. That creek's dry. Oh, oh water. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, you wanted a <laughs> bit more excitement. No, a bit of excitement wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so Wayne's out too, so it's a priority for both of us. Did you, um, you hydrated last night, Wayne? Yeah. Did right this morning. Fuck yeah. They're fancy looking, geez. Right? Collingwood supporter. He goes all out the beach and I dead thought, end. oh, that'll be nice. And then we're dead end, dead end. Oh, fuck, I'm not going that way. Oh, you got maps on you, do you? No, I've got the... The inreach, the garment. Oh right, so you got good yeah, okay. Nice, can I have a drink? I was thinking about pissing in my bottle last night just in case I needed it. <laughs> deep oh she's deep. Stagnant water. If I had one of those survival straws, filters, I could uh, could have made do with that. I guess I could have boiled it too, maybe if I, uh, if I get desperate. Well, it's nice and early still this morning. Here we go. I'm not gonna fuck around, I'm just gonna do it. I can send it. All right, so we're into some different surfs at the moment, which is nice. And suddenly I know, I'm second last at the moment we've got Wayne behind me oh, I guess it's not really second last it's just a Position. Hey. Nursing my back wheel a little bit because it's uh, last time I checked it was nine psi. My hand pump's fucked. Garf's compressor got mauled by his chain and uh, 
Yeah, just waiting for the service station, I guess, get some more air in there. But um, I don't want to hit anything too square on. Because oh, doing a char, doing a wheel off or sort of. Yeah, it's not my idea of fun. We we'll count it in. One, two, three. Oh, I got him. Sorry, I just. What am I doing in here? This it's just like a amazing, it's like something you'd see in an African uh, safari video. This will be the campsite they'll tell us about. This would be the campsite the guy was talking about, on a hill. There's a split in the road. I think it just says a chicken track, isn't it? Alright. That was a bit of a serious hill all of a sudden, just when I thought, this is nice and smooth, i home. Oh, it's just got everything. How was that big rut fucking thing had to ride the middle? Lane. Go left. Oh, always stay left? Yeah. Oh, I ended up left. <laughs> oh, what we oh, choice? Nice. So this is where we were aiming to get last night for our camp. Rooted out creek beds at the moment. There's nothing in them. So we just stopped here and thanks to Gary we filtered some uh, billabong water. It's pretty stagnant so he couldn't just drink it without getting sick. Horses have been drinking at it. Oh look at it. Oh, no, here we go. Myself, I'll be <laughs> looking like a clay golem. Oh, so nice. Hydrated now. A big skull of water. Probably, oh, 700 mil. Skull of water. Got another 500 mil there for later. And then also. Caught a bunch of unfiltered water all over myself to cool off. It's so good. A few creeks marked on the uh, map, but they all seem to be bone dry. Which is yeah, a bit weird. 
weird for up here, I would have thought, but anyway. It's just this picked peninsula that we've got up here. Alright, this looks interesting. Let's see what we've got ahead of us. Hey, a little stream. Go, Gary! Oh no, she's not flowing. What we got here some old shelters. Water tank over there and geez they're rudimentary. I've got a picture of that here. So this one? Yeah. I'll get the jump pack out and we'll see if it's far up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. You want the bike in it? I'll get this and then go back. Well, the bike in, there's a lot in there. So, three, two, one. Yeah, your bike, your bike hasn't been. There you go. And then we do a little... Uh, Albert, helmet on over. Helmet. Over here. Oh yeah, take the helmet off. So this is why you bring a photographer along. Three, two, one. Are you get the tractor in? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm getting all artsy up your ass, mate. What about the bike? Yeah, the bike's in there. Here, you want me to get artsy with the bike? Do you want to be in the secret? Add on. Oh, fuck it. That's a bride, you know. Chicken. Right, eh? Hey, Cape Melville National Park, four kilometres, Cooktown, 180 k's that away. That's what we've just done. That is one big ass drive ride. Alright, so this is where we are here, Wakuka. Is that the junction? Yeah, this is the junction now. So we've got to go this way now for uh, 40 k's. Yeah, here's that thing I was talking about, Desert Creek. So this is uh, this is like a freeway to me now, a multi-lane freeway compared to what we've been on. We're doing 70 k's, so the day uh, we should be fueling up very soon and sitting down to drink some beers. Yeah, so 40 k's of this we should chew into real quick. Yeah, give us a bottle. See how clear it is? You want to fill this, don't you? Yes, please, yeah. Whew. And this is what you got to do when you're out surviving. Yeah, now it's good. We can paddle on the side of the road. Mmm, surfy. Okay, so um, I've just started the camera off. I had an interesting problem then. I um, I just ran out of fuel, so I just flicked it over to reserve. Um, if you look at the tank, there's still a line in the fuel there, but it's, maybe that little pep cop thing's 
sticks up too high, I don't know, so I might have to lay the bike over again if it happens again, just to try to get the fuel from one side of the tank over to the, um, the intake, but pretty scary because we're still at least 100 k's, at least 100 k's from fuel. Um, so, yeah. Well, let's hope it's a generous reserve. <sighs> this is a nice little spot. If it wasn't for the crocs, you'd go for a swim. Oh, river crossing, that'd be beaut. And this is the um, Maret River. Snake on the road. <laughs> Look at these, beautiful. How many of them? So these kind folk just gave us uh, 10 litres of fuel. I'm recording on my camera for doing a little doco. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they might have just saved the day. Barra Monday. Wow. So they like the lures, do they? <laughs> well, there you go. That shows how lovely. Uh, Country Australians are wouldn't even take our money for the um, for the fuel. Things are going to get interesting. So no fuel and some crazy crossings. off the edge. <laughs> I'm on reserve again too. I flicked it back just to see. And yeah, it's, it's empty. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I'm on reserve again too. I flicked it back just to see. And yeah, it's, it's empty. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> you good to go? No, it's like, geez, that's, that's uh, fresh water, is it? Nice. He's not slowing down. It helps when you stand up, it just knocks the sheen off the water, doesn't it? So you can see it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> 
at the show off. Oh, did you ever want to go put it cleaner stuff? Yeah, well that looks We, we headed at about 11 o'clock in the morning and we rode and fucking rode and fucking Someone rode told us the someone, sun come down. Someone told us don't take it four three hours. hours at, three at, hours or four hours. And the line Blake said, fuck you, three hours? <laughs> You'll be through that, all right, beauty, off we go. I didn't even top up with fuel thinking three hours. Yeah, right. Right. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just get parked and yeah, I can help you out, man. Oh, man. Wow. Can can Great Northern Motorbike Adventures. Great Northern awesome. Remember that one? There we go. Oh, oh, sorry, man. Where are they going? And I said, well, by now, fucking, I'd never sell it to you. I'm thinking, oh, he says, I'll give it to you. Fuel? <laughs> what is it with people and not fuel up here? <laughs> okay, so we've just been saved by Great Northern Motorcycle Motorbike Adventures. www.ridecapeyork.com.au these guys are gonna sell us some fuel and give us a couple of tinnies I'm and they're gonna give you fuel they're gonna give us fuel holy yeah, shit holy shit Yeah, that's reserved, believe it or not. I don't know where the fuel goes in the bottom of these things. Fiery? Ah, uh, it's the IMS. Yeah, IMS tank. Yeah, it's a shit tank. Doesn't, uh, I've only got 190 uh, k's out of it. Have hose and shit? What's that, Wade. Wade. Yeah, Wade. Wade. Thanks, Wade. Scott, man. Easy, man. Cheers. Uh, thanks to the boys at Great Northern Motorbike Adventures. <laughs> Petrol and beer. Mm-hmm. Freaking charge. I wouldn't take our money. Crazy. Unbelievable. What a good mob of good group of blokes. <laughs> well Garf's proved his worth. <laughs> Gary's proved his worth and Garf's proved his worth. <laughs> I've taken a couple of photos. Does that prove my worth? <laughs> Man, those guys, you wouldn't believe it. They topped all five of our bikes up, filled all five of our bikes up, I should say, for free, wouldn't take our money, and then they gave us some beers. It's like, uh, it's unheard of, you know, in the city, it just wouldn't happen. So I cannot sing those guys enough praise. It just really says something. Yeah. And I guess, um, you know, when you're up here and it's, it's so, the distances are so great and people so few, I guess, you, you really got to rely on everyone up here. It's, it's the mentality. It's just so good. It's, Like, these guys just saved our ass. We were. There's no phone signal out here. Like, I've got the um, RACQ Ultimate cover at the moment, which will give me. Uh, they'll come out. I'll travel 200 kilometres to up to 200 kilometres to you. And they'll bring some fuel out for you. It's part of their, that, yeah, that particular package, but it's no good if you can't get onto them. Corrugation going on here. It's um, not so bad now. Back a bit further, it was just like a proper corrugated roof. The trick is you've got to get the harmonics right, so you get your speed right, and they um, uh, <laughs> This is nothing now for what we're used to. <laughs> oh. Good opportunity to just give the bikes a wash. We used to get really excited at the start of this over a puddle. <laughs> oh, it's funny how things change. So this is uh, Ninfall Plains. It's quite pretty. Uh, 
uh, probably 60 kilometres south of Musgrove or uh, southeast of Musgrove. Definitely some crocodilia out there. None of them like to uh, show themselves though. They're all in there waiting for someone to jump in the water. Here we go. So this is going to be an interesting ride, eh, Gary? 20 k's on a flat tyre. No, I'll just stay behind you. Okay. I'll try to go as quick as I can without fucking things up. Ugh. Oh, it feels terrible. Oh. That's fucked, man. I can't do this. <clears throat> you know what I'm thinking? If I ruin the actual tyre as well, we're going to be in a fucking bad situation. Yeah, it's still on the way. It is? Oh, I know. What's up? Um, I remember I actually have got the valve hose for that CO2 cylinder. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Of the cylinders, yeah. Well, that's going to make the fucking yeah, so journey a bit quicker. Really yeah. yeah, you're changing yeah. Uh, tube tonight, mate. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Got to get there first. How far is the pub have you guys made it from? <laughs> okay, that's teamwork. A bit of slime in there would have been a good thing, maybe. But I was um, tempting fate getting around on that tyre as flat as it was. Sorry. How you doing? Just down there. Yeah. This thing's going to work. Too. Hang on, wait on. Yeah, get it in there and pop the tyre over. But I'd, I'd do the other side so you don't fuck your hand up on the sprocket. Yeah, I'd flop that. Is that working now? <laughs> so. Okay, so we've pulled into Musgrove last night, had a camp and a feed, can't the beer, which was great after our uh, ordeal yesterday, changing to the tyres, <laughs> and I do say tyres, we had multiple changes of the one tyre. So we're having a bit of a slack day today, leaving late, uh, doing bike repairs and washing and just getting some stuff done that needs to be done. I've got a pannier repair to do soon. <clears throat> How's your bike going there? Bike's going good. Yep. Yeah. New air filter in today. New air filter? Yeah. Work the chain. Check it over. <clears throat> Good to go. Yeah. Very impressed with where Gary's taken this bike over the last few days. He's um <coughs> A lot heavier than what we've got and he's done well. <laughs> 